Hey, how's everybody going? How's your day going? This lovely Tuesday, March day, huh? I had a uh, question from a sister, friend, new friend named uh, Abby, who asked me my opinion if I knew what the, uh, the lights back there are every night. And there's a lot of them right back there. There's birds, flocks of birds back there now. But tonight, they'll be back there and all up and down here, back here, doing their little evil business. And I'm not too sure some of these clouds aren't hiding certain things, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So Abby's question was, do I know what they are? Or what is my speculation? And I've said it, I've said before what I thought they were. So you know, we're in the middle of a cornfield. There's the sun behind me. Right? It's four o'clock, about four o'clock here in the east. Um, and the reason we're in a cornfield talking about this is, this is all there is, buddy. There are friends, brothers, sisters, all of you out there. This is all there is. Right? You can talk about books. You can talk about programs and websites. And oh, you don't understand that this Greek, this. Roman, this uh, guy from MIT, or this dude or that dude wrote this thing and that thing, and there's these calculations. Let me tell you something, okay? And we're, this is what we're going to go with. This is what I'm going to go with. You go with what you wish. But I'm going with this. I'm standing here in this field, this cornfield, this big cornfield out in the middle of nowhere, actually, and I'm not moving. Are you, do you see me moving? I'm not moving. The Lord, our God, Jesus, our Lord, who created us, gave us census so we could protect and, and care for ourselves. Census are our, uh, our early warning system. Not only our early warning system, our all warning system, right? Too hot, too cold, moving too fast, moving too slow, not moving at all. So standing here on this solid piece of earth, terra firma as it were, flat as far as the eye can see behind me, huh? we're not spinning, we're not on a ball. And once you say that, and once you understand that on the second day of creation, Jesus created the firmament, which is that above you, that blue up there, right? See the blue? Eh, that's the water that's above the dome, above our heads. What are you talking about, Ron? There ain't no dome up there. We all saw science class. Science class, they tell us that we're out in the middle of the universe. No, that's, that's another lie, like all the many lies you've been taught. And many, many lies you've been taught. So I was taught them too. So, Abby, here's your answer. What are they? Eh? They were here in biblical times. They were here before. They came down on Mount Hermon many, many, many years ago. They're the angels, the fallen ones, right? Lucifer and uh, Legion. And the ones that aren't Lucifer and Legion are uh, government's military using technology they got from the fallen angels by trading us to them for experiments or food or whatever they use us for. I'm sure it's food of some kind. Is they are some of them are reptiles. So that sounds crazy, Ron. That sounds like a fairy tale. Yep, that's what they want you to think. That's exactly what they want you to say. They want you to say, oh, he's talking crazy nonsense. This is the 21st century. None of that's true. Yeah. Come out here in the field and prove me wrong. Prove to me that I'm spinning 1,000 miles an hour right now. Oh, he's just a flat earther. There's not flat. There's mountains and hills and, and all the way. I don't know what it is because I have not been up high enough for gone as Enoch did with an angel to see what the earth looks like. Huh? I'm going to tell you. The Bible's true. Every word. Every word is true. Now, the translation you have may be jumbled up a bit, but the general idea is there the the proof is out there right the proof is if 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 you watching this were standing across from me in this field right now you wouldn't feel any movement either you know why because we're not moving 
Hmm? We're not moving. Right? If we're going a thousand miles an hour, right? How come the sun's just sitting there? It would go past like, it would go whoosh, like that. No. We're not spinning. Not moving at all. When those people experience an earthquake wherever they do in the world, they're moving and they know they're moving and they feel it when it happens. But we are not moving. Unless you're on a, a some kind of vehicle. But I'm telling you right now, these things out here at night, those things out there, they're preparing for what's coming. Okay? And what's coming is the end. I don't know when. Right? And, and I don't necessarily mean the end of the world. I mean the end of what's happened here every day for the last 60 years I've been here. Right? Most people think that tomorrow will be just like today because today was like yesterday. But there's a day coming. Right? September 10th was a different day than September the next day. I don't want to say the name because, you know, they tag those things. So, the next day it was a different world. And that's going to happen again very soon. Right? Because they're going to pull a little sneaky, sneaky trick and have these little things come out of the sky or something to that effect and say, oh, we're from Zeta Reticula Zima Gadupu. Hmm? We made you. We created all this. No, they didn't. He did. Him, up there. He did. Right that way. That's north right there. That's where God lives, that way. Ron, you sound crazy. Of course I do. Because in a world where lies are commonplace, the truth is a radical, radical thing. Eh? Repent. Save yourself. Save your family. Open a Bible. Cut off the television. Save yourself. Save your family. Save your family's soul. Save your children's souls. Do you care? Most of my friends stopped talking to me. Because, you know, I'm crazy. And I'm talking this crazy stuff. Not crazy. It's the truth. I can assure you it's the truth. Veritas. Jesus called him, say, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to the Father is through me. And I have every intention of seeing the people that I love that have left again. And you're going, and young people out there watching this saying, it's just an old man trying to get into heaven. Yes, I am. It's just an old man. He can't do all those things anymore. You're right. Can't. And I've realized it took 50, it took 60 years of knocking on my brain for me to understand. It took 60 years of my guardian angel saving my butt from so many different problems I put myself in to understand that you got to pray, that you got to come to the Lord and ask Him. So do I know what they are? Yeah, that's what they are. They are the fallen angels. You don't believe me? Hmm. Go on YouTube. Well, you're probably on YouTube now because that's where this video is. Type in stars P900 P1000 camera. Type it in. And look at what the stars actually look like. Or go out and spend $500 and get a P900 Nikon. Cool pics P900. Go get one. And sit at home and look at what the stars actually look like. Because the stars are not that. That is a point of light in the sky that God put there. It is not solid. It is not a ball of gas. It is the exact same size as the moon. One to rule the day, one to rule the night. Hmm? They are the minute and hour hand on God's clock, which we are. So, I hope that I've answered your question, young lady. And anyone else that's watching this, I pray in Jesus' name.
that you repent and find Jesus. Help yourself. Not only help yourself, it'll save your life. It's a brand new operating system. I went from Ron 1.0 to Jesus 1.0 in a day. And let me tell you, I do this a lot more now. You know why? I live right now. Not 30 years ago. Right now. Not next week. Right now. Not when the end comes. I enjoy each day. I enjoy each minute of each day. And that's what you're supposed to do. That's what God put us here for. Take care of one another. Can you imagine how much we could accomplish as far as saving the earth and saving the humans on it if people stopped watching TV and playing video games all night and decided to help one another? Well, that would not help the economy, Ron. Well, we wouldn't worry about the economy then because everybody would be fed and have a place to live. No one would have to sell their body for drugs because they wouldn't need drugs because they wouldn't be homeless. It's a simple plan. The Lord God gave us paradise. And what do we do with it? We turn it into a Walmart. It's got everything, but it's made in China. And it breaks after a week. So you got to go buy another one. I am so ignorant, it took me 60 years to figure out that buying things is an addiction. You buy them, and just like taking drugs, you get that rush when it, you get it. A day later, the rush is gone, and it's just another albatross around your neck. How happy are you? Are you happy? Do things make you happy? Do things make you really happy? No. Oh, before I go, and I know you didn't bring this up, Abby. But I'm going to touch on this too. And if you want to watch my podcast, I do it every night at 7 o'clock. I don't like to do commercials, but it's for a good cause. Army of God. You can find it right here on my page. I do it every night at 7 o'clock. It's only a half an hour long. And we discuss things like this. Sex is to make more people. Not a sport. Right? If you have an erectile dysfunction, maybe you're not supposed to be doing it. Right? Well, you're just saying that because you're 60 years old. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm saying it. The other reason is, when you're consumed with finding someone to have sex with, it causes anxiety and depression. And I'm going to tell you another clue, another hint. Sex isn't love. Not even close. You can spend more than a week with your significant other without wanting to kill each other, without having sex, and still talk. Maybe you love that person. But I wonder how many people could do that. And what would you talk about? Did you see the latest version of blah, 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 blah? Have you played the latest version of blah, 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 blah? It's a waste of your time. It's not even... Well, I'm going to leave that alone. Today is the greatest day of your life because you just heard the truth. What you do with it, it's up to you. Today is the greatest day of your life because it's the only day of your life. The rest of them are over. This is all there is. There's not going to be anything else. Right? Look at that glory. There's people who never come outside. Look at that glory. Shelly's mom and I walk here every day. And it's my favorite part of the day. I know I'm getting a bit philosophical. Sorry about that, Abby. But they are the fallen ones. And they want your soul. And they want you. And they're coming for your children. 
they're going to turn your children into freaks because that's what they did in the times of Noah. And they're going to try to do it again. And if you read the Bible, you'll find out that it says there, as in the times of Noah, so will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. That means Jesus is coming back. Yippee! Those people who are watching this video and saying under their breath, oh, it's just another religious ass. Jesus has nothing to do with religion. He's God. Religion is a control mechanism. God made us. Right? Gave us paradise. All the food we want. All the water we want. You weren't born into that world, but it's here. So, do yourself a favor. I'm not telling you to go to church. I'm telling you to find Jesus. I'm not telling you to join any denomination of anything. That's your choice. I'm telling you to find Jesus. He's your friend. He's your king. He's your defense against that. Because it's supposed to be a swamp back there. But there's an air base back there. Or some kind of underground military base or something. And the military fly in, the military fly out. The fallen ones fly in, the fallen ones fly out. And in a way, they are extraterrestrial. Because angels aren't, aren't from this place. He's talking about angels like they're real. They are real. Very real. He must be crazy. Yep, crazy. Crazy like a fox. So, I'm going in to put my feet up and rest with my doggy. I love you all very much. Have a blessed day. Be good. Jesus loves you. Loves you.